So before you can dive right in and create a game, you need to think about game design. Game design is the process that you go through as you're coming up with ideas for your game. And the first thing you think have to think about is like, what is a game? And really a game is rules plus a goal. And of course your players. So I'm not gonna play this video, but I'm gonna link to this uh, website and I'd love you to play this video. Um, it's from Jane McGonigal, one of my favorite uh, video game designers. And she and Pat just kind of riff on creating a game with just regular things. Like uh, their game's actually focused on donuts, but um, you know, it's kind of fun, it's kind of silly, but they do think about the rules and a goal for their game. And they also think about what makes a game engaging. So there's this thing called flow. And if you've ever been doing, you know, something you really love doing and you kind of lost track of time because you just were enjoying it so much, then you were probably in the flow, which means that the activity was difficult enough that it kept you challenged, but not that you got frustrated. And it was easy enough that, again, you could get you could go through and get better at it, but you weren't bored. And it's actually a pretty, um, you know, it just it's, it's not a whole lot of the chart. So it's something you really have to think about when you're making a game is how are you going to make it um, enjoyable for your user? For So, for instance, um, especially if your games has levels you know, you wouldn't want your first level to be the hardest level. That doesn't make any sense. You want to kind of help train the player up into what your game's all about so they can learn skills as they go. So your challenge today is to hack games and play games. So for hacking games, um, it'd be great if you had a board game or two that you could kind of bring together and remix and create a new goal and real rules for that game. But like I said, when you watch this video, you're actually other, you know, you can just create it with food or whatever. Um, but what we'd like to see is what rules and goal have you created for a custom game that is uh, from a board game or something, but not on a computer. Um, so let's think about at least three rules. You could have more than that. Um, and of course, a goal. And if you want more ideas, there's a link here on, um, especially if you're remixing board games. And the second part of the challenge is go play some games. Um, you know, not for a long, long time, but there is a uh, evaluation um, sheet that you can print out or not. But these are the kind of things you want to look for in a game. Um, can you figure out what the game design platform was? Actually, the links that I provided are for Scratch games and Twine games. And those are the two platforms, um, at least, that we're going to be exploring in the intro level. So I wanted you to kind of see what those are like. Does a game seem original or does it seem like it was a remake of another game? Is it creative, different, unique? Was the goal of the game clear? Are the rules of the game clear? And like, could you give examples? How do the sprites and characters enhance the game? Um, are there different media? Is there images, audio, other things um, that make the game better or worse? Was it easy to learn yet challenging enough to keep your interest? That was a flow thing. Is it stable or have you found bugs while playing it? A lot of things, especially on the Scratch platform, since anybody can create a game up there, uh, sometimes people do it, but they don't really finish. Um, so maybe you find something like that. Do you think this game is easy or difficult? And how would you rate this game? Does it still need some work or is it awesome? So. Think about those kind of things, because these are the exact kind of things you're going to think about when you're designing your own game. Um, yeah, that's what you're going to do for this first challenge. And again, what you're going to link to or what you're going to upload is an image, hopefully, of your remix board game or and or the rules and goal for a game that you came up with on your own. All right. Good luck.